Hey Power Rangers fans, welcome back. Dave here. I got another awesome toy review. I just picked up Jack, the uh, the rabbit zord from Power Rangers Beast Morphers. Um, he is the primary uh, zord for the Yellow Ranger. So let's uh, take a quick look at the box. And you can see here you got the Power Rangers uh, logo. And then you can see how the, each uh, figure in this series comes with like a key that um you know you can either attach as like a weapon to the figure or as you can see um you know it's like a key that uh also can be put into the morpher and which will unlock uh different sounds and other phrases that the uh original keys to the uh morpher did not unlock and uh, you can see here here's the key and uh, you can see Jack's here, and he has like these little carrots, which are like little missiles that go on the side of him. And then he has this like little helmet here, which is like a propeller that goes on top that does spin. So we'll take a look at the back of the box, and you can see there's some awesome, um, you know, like artwork here that shows how you can set up the figure um, out of the box with the missiles. And then, like I said, it has this like awesome little propeller that goes on top of his helmet where he can like fly because it's actually like uh in the series um he actually becomes like a helicopter uh, and then can like fly around so that's how that plays into it and then over here you have like the basic three rangers here and then you have a villain here which is also part of the wave two series um here's the uh the upc here if you want to check at some of your local stores and you can ask them if they've, they've gotten it in yet because I had just recently heard that they had just come in I wasn't even expecting to see it in the store so I just like stopped at one of my uh, local targets and there it was um, <clears throat> so you'll have to kind of hunt around because apparently um, this and the uh, the villain um, let me see here So this is the, uh, also here, this is the cyber villain Roxy. She's one of the two main villains, um, in the series, minus, um, the, the main villain. And she is also part of Wave 2, so I picked that up right away as soon as I seen it, because, um, apparently these two here are, um, only one, one per case, or, or the two of them are like, you know, only the two in one case. So you'll get like a whole case where it's going to be like a bunch of like blue and red rangers and then like maybe something else. And then these replaced um, a Tronic and then this kind of replaces the yellow ranger because they're not going to be putting her out anymore after this series. So you're going to have to kind of hunt around to find these because like I said, they're only one per case. Um, I'll probably be shortly after doing a review on that. Um, so that's it for the packaging. So without further ado, let's get it out of the box and see how awesome Jax really is. Okay, so we're back here and we got him out of the packaging. So let's take a quick look at, a uh, closer look at Jax. And we'll up close and we'll see. So I kind of like already put the missiles on here. They're like little fake like little missiles here. Um, it's like a hard plastic and then it is painted with green and orange or the plastic looks like it's orange and it has, um, you know, a little bit of detail on it. And then, like I said, the little green on top and it just fits on the side here. It's just for like pretend it doesn't actually like fire at all. So we'll take a look at, uh, Jax's head here and you can see here, it's kind of like R2-D2-ish, um, where he's got these little eyes and kind of like little gauges. And then he has his ears here, um, which are kind of like antennas. And these actually do move up and down, as you can see. And they're on kind of like a little ratchet. So that's kind of nice that, you know, you can kind of move them in different directions and give them like, like, like little personalities and stuff. Um, and then you, I guess you'll have to kind of move them apart to get like the propeller which pops in up top here and um so i'll just move his ears back up and um his head does rotate like 360 and it doesn't have um you know it's not on like a ball joint so it doesn't move up or down 
and then you have some like silver paint here on the chest and then like some silver paint on the arms there and um, you can see here he does have wheels so he does roll it's not like super super rolly you know it's more for just like playing around or for display and uh, he does have other wheels here but they're kind of just like fake molded in and then we'll turn it around to the back and you have like this hole in the back here which holds this little like it's like a little head shield that's part of like the Megazord so it may combine with the Megazord so I'm not sure how that's gonna go because it's like this little piece here that's like <clears throat> let me get a closer up on that as you can see here this is like um it's the head of the Megazord for the rabbit. So it just kind of fits on here like this. Let me see here. See, it just like pops in like that on his back. So it doesn't really serve... I guess it kind of gives him like a little bit of a like a butt sort of. But I do believe that it might be part of the Megazord. So, you know, you might want to get this. I'm not sure how that's going to play into it. Um, the legs do move 360. So you can go all the way around. And then this, like, midsection doesn't do anything. So he's a cute little bot. You know, it does. he does do, you know, quite a bit. He's got, like, a lot of articulation as far as the ears and different little things like that. So you can see here, again, you put that little thing on the back. And then this is the, here, I'll set them down here. This is the propeller. So it's like this little gray molded in propeller with like a little yellow part. And it does spin pretty freely. So that's pretty nice. Gives like a lot of action to it. And that just kind of clips right on top of his head like this. Oop, oop. There you go. You might want to probably, see now you have to move his ears down so it's out of the way. And you go like that. All right, there you go. He's back up. Jax is all right. And then you go. He just like spins like that. And kids can pretend or it's neat for display. Um, so that's it for the figure. So let's get the, uh, the morpher out and try to see like what different sounds this does unlock in it. So as you can see here, if you see my other review on the Beast Morpher, you can look back on it. And it'll kind of show you how to work it and what it does. So you have like the little on and off switch here. So you put that to like two. And then you just like kind of start it. And let's just insert the key. Hey, don't call me cute. <laughs> that's pretty funny. So that's like Jax's. That kind of sounds like his voice from the don't series. Don't forget your carrots, Yellow Ranger. See, don't forget your carrots. That was part of the uh, show if you're watching it. <laughs> it's kind of funny, like, uh, the Yellow Ranger and the other Rangers, like, they have, like, different powers or different things like that where, like, because she's a rabbit, if she, like, eats pa eats carrots in the show, then uh, she will kind of, like, regain some of her strength and stuff like that. Hey, don't call me cute. Rangers, it's go time. Yeah, that's, like... Let's go! Unleash the beast. Yeah, so those are the original ones from it. So sounds like you get about like uh, two phrases. And that's pretty common for a lot of the Power Ranger stuff where, you know, especially with like Ninja, Sto Ninja Steel and like uh, Super Mega Force and stuff like that. Um, you know, whenever you would get like the original one, you would get like a bunch of sayings and stuff. But... Uh, you know, the next keys or different cards after that, they'd only have, like, one or two sayings. So, you know, it's just, like, again... And this is actually... Let me see here. And it didn't really... This one didn't come with any... Uh, this one doesn't have any instructions. So, um, you know, the Smash Zord did. He's right here. Let me put him up here. This is Smash Zord. I never did a review on him. I just kind of got him and never got around to doing the review. So I'll just stick him up here as you can see. Like, there he is over there. 
And I still haven't gotten the Cheetah Zord yet. I was kind of like up and down on whether I was going to get it because a lot of people didn't seem to like it because it was kind of fragile and it didn't really stay together well. But I mean, the, the Gorilla Zord here is a lot better. So now that I have the two, I'll probably end up getting the three. So at least I have the set. But again, you can see it just kind of clips on right here. And uh, what is it doing here? It's showing that it all, um, as you can see here, it kind of shows that it like almost like fits over the carrot. So let's give that a try and see what it does. Seems like you have to kind of put it up like that. Yeah, so that's how it goes. It's kind of neat. Another way that they like added the key to it. So it's kind of like a little bit of like a sword or something like that. So you can take a look at it. Uh, it does stay in there pretty well, so that's pretty neat. You know, it doesn't like flop down I'm sure maybe like after a while it probably will. I mean, it doesn't look like awesome, but it's kind of cool So you can do that. And it's just another thing that you can do um, I probably won't have it like that or displayed like that um, Just have to be careful too. It seemed like a little bit like when you try to take the carrot off, it kind of puts like a lot of stress on the carrot. So you don't want to break it. Um, I mean, I know it's going to be hard to like keep those because they are so small. But, you know, what can you do? Uh, so that's it for the review on Jax the Rabbit Zord from Power Rangers Beast Morphers. Remember to leave a like, please comment. And until next time, see you guys later.